Hey all, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to discuss the double marker test, which is an important antenatal test done for the screening of Down syndrome. Along with that, we will also see triple marker test and quadruple marker test. Before going into detail, please subscribe my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. So first, what is Down syndrome? So Down syndrome, it is a genetic condition in which child is born with an extra copy of their 21st chromosome. That's why it is also called as a triosomy of chromosome number 21. Generally, normal individuals have 46 chromosomes and all these 46 chromosomes are arranged into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Means each pair contain two chromosomes. But in the Down syndrome, there is a presence of extra copy in the 21st pair of chromosome. That's why it gives rise to the triosomy of chromosome number 21. Now, what are the various factors which can increase the probability of baby with Down syndrome? So, the mater advanced maternal age, which is more than 35 years. Second important factor is previous pregnancy with chromosomal triosomy. And the third important factor is a parent carrying translocation in chromosome number 21. So, these are the various factors which can increase the probability of baby with Down syndrome. Now, double marker test, which is done for the screening of Down syndrome. So, it is it is also called as a first trimester screening for Down syndrome, as well as for the triosomy 18, which is also called as Edward syndrome, and triosomy 13, which is called as a Pataio syndrome. As it is called as a first trimester screening, so it is done during the 8 to 12 weeks of gestational period. And it is just screening, it is not a diagnostic test and it includes level of pregnancy associated plasma protein A which is a growth factor required for the growth of the fetus and the second beta HCG which is a hormone secreted by the placenta during the pregnancy which is also called as a beta subunit of human chorionic gonadotrophin. So, Biochemical markers in the blood plus mother's age plus ultrasound scan finding like measurement of the nasal bone, crown rump length and knuckle transluency all the values are fed into the algorithm. Knuckle transluency is basically thickness of the fluid filled region which is present in the fetus neck. So all this provides calculated risk. Apart from this thing, other factors which are also important are date of the last menstrual period, height and weight of the mother, diabetic status and smoking status. If the report indicates risk score higher than a cutoff value, then it is considered as a screen positive or high risk and that particular patient requires further diagnostic testing like chorionic villi sampling and amnio sentences. Now triple marker test. The triple marker test, it is the second trimester screening which is done for the detection of neural tube defect. defect. Now what are this neural tube defects? So, neural tube defects are the, prob are the defects which are having problem with brain, spinal cord or spine formation. So, as in the picture, you can see there is a problem with the spinal cord formation. It is done during the second trimester, that is during the 16th to 18th weeks of gestational period. And it includes 2D ultrasound along with the maternal level of unconjug unconjugated estriol level. Second thing, that is human coronary gonadotrophin level. And the third thing that is alpha fetoprotein. Alpha fetoprotein is the protein which is synthesized by the fetus lever. Second trimester ultrasound, it only may detect some physical problems, but it is not for the screening of Down syndrome. Now quadruple marker test. So quadruple marker test, in, it includes triple marker test plus inhibin A level. And again, it is also done in the second trimester and it is more specific than the triple marker and presently preferred one. So that is regarding the quadruple marker test. These are my references. Hope you have find this information useful. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it.